Hi guys, it's Sandra and today I'm gonna show you what's in my travel skincare bag. Now, the bag is originally from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure you can still get it. I think it might have been limited, it might not, I can't remember. But it says on the back, give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world. And I agree. And then on the front you have all these beautiful gold lipsticks and it's just a really big bag. And I have skincare in here and some miscellaneous bits and as you can see it's filled to the rim. So I thought I'm just gonna go through this and show you what I have in here. I'm going away this Sunday for two weeks. Now, I think by the time this video goes up, I'm gonna be in Hungary, probably. But also, after this video, I will have another one coming on my travel makeup bag, because it's a separate one. And, yep, yeah, that's all the information you have to know. Let's jump into this. So, I'm just gonna pull things out in the order that they get into my hand. Nothing specific. So first I have these Boots Re-Energize um, tablets, basically it's the same as Barocca and both me and my boyfriend drink these occasionally when we feel a bit drained in the morning and I just thought it will be nice just to throw it in here and then once I'm done with it we can just chuck it away, there's not too much left in here but usually even though we go home on holiday, I am from Hungary, we go to visit my family, friends and just to relax in general and you know, sometimes it can be a bit full on as we try to fit everything in in the two weeks time now we, while we are there so it might be nice just to have some barca with us and you know, it doesn't take up much space so I might as well throw it in there the next thing I have is this Bondi Sense SPF 30 Coconut Beach Sunscreen Lotion it will protect you both from UVA and UVB which is great and it's cruelty free and I smelt it the other day Oh, it smells so nice. It doesn't really... Oh no, actually, it does smell a bit like coconut um, oil. Oh, it just smells so good though. I've never used anything from Bondi Scents before, but I found this and I'm like, you know what, I need a new SPF anyway, I can give this a go. So we'll see how it goes, but it smells amazing and I usually find that with my skin an SPF 30 is enough. Now, I know some people say, no, you need an SPF 50 at all times. I'm not one of those people. I'm quite happy with SPF 30 and it always does the job for me. The next thing I have in here is a deodorant and I'm taking my Salt of the Earth Travel Natural Deodorant. That was hard to say. And basically it's just this little salt crystal deodorant. You have to wet it before you, and you put it on. And I just thought, you know what, it's going to reduce the liquid that I take with me. And I'm home every morning anyway, so I can just keep it by the sink and wet it there when I get ready. To be fair, I quite like this. Um, it's also unscented. I'm not sure. It just says on the box, well, on the packaging, it's unscented. I don't know if they actually make a scented version of this. Maybe. I don't know. But... I feel like it does the job well also it's taking me ages to use it's on my blog in my project pen and as you can see I haven't done too much of progress if you go check it out I'm gonna link it down below but it does the job well so you know that's really great and it's only the travel version apparently so I assume the full size is maybe even bigger and it'll last you for ages it says on the side, long-lasting protection, no white marks, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, unisex and not tested on animals. Now, I'm not sure about the long-lasting protection, but I'm still yet to find a good cruelty-free deodorant that's great for sweaty people like me. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Till then, I'll be fine with this. Another thing I have in here on that note is my Jo Malone perfume. Now, as I said before, unfortunately it's not cruelty free, so I'm trying to use it up, but mm, it just smells amazing. It's the Peony and Blush Suede um, scent. I really, really like this, and I mean, it's a perfume, it's fairly small, but then again, you'll need two spritzes of this, so it will be more than enough for my holiday. Something that goes well with that scent. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. 
is my Elemis Frangipani body oil. I just take this as a moisturizer. I don't want to carry too many things and this body oil will last me quite a long time. And ah, the scent of this, it's again, it's Frangipani, it's a flower, so it's gonna go well with the perfume if I decide to put this on. But I just love the scent of this anyway. Um, it's a solid body oil, so if it's really, really cold in your house or even in just a room temperature, it solidifies and you have to put it under running hot water and it will, well, just a bottle, make sure it's closed. <laughs> and then it will turn into an oil and you can just get some on your palm and just rub it all over your body. It came out weird, I know, but just roll with it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this and this small size will last me a long time, so it's perfect for my holiday. Just to keep moisturized, especially because I know the weather will be sunny, well, fingers crossed but this will just make sure that my skin doesn't dry out. Another thing I have in there is blister pads, just because, you know, it can happen, and just in case my family doesn't have any, I like to make sure I do, so not much to say about that really, is there? It's just blister pads. Another thing I have in there is just some um, Press in case any of us has some sort of pain, and I mean, usually my family has painkillers, but in case they don't, I have a few in here. It's only like four of them, so, you know, it's not a huge amount, but I have them in case we need it. Oh, actually, one of them is open. Okay, I will have to throw that one away. Next up is my Elemis, again, Superfood Night Cream, just because your skin needs to be moisturized and looked after even when on holiday. So I take my night cream with me. This is what I use at home as well. And I really like it, it does a great job, and I just have to take it with me. For the daytime, I have the same Elemis Superfood range, just a day cream version. But it's quite a big bottle, so I don't want to take my day cream with me. I have this little travel size over there, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I mean, it's an anti-aging, anti-wrinkle day cream, but usually, well, when I found it just means that it's a bit more hydrating, it's a bit thicker maybe. And I think I used up another travel size of this before. Um, so it's going to be perfect, really, just for those two weeks. Now, there's not that much cream in there. I can't see it through now. I think it's only about till here. But for the two weeks' time, it's going to be perfectly enough. So, you know, and you know, you can see the size. It's a lot smaller. So it's just a lot easier to carry, really. For eye cream I'm taking my Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Firm and Lift eye cream. Now it might be a firming eye cream but this has been the one I've been using on and off for four years now at least and this is a fully new bottle that has not been opened yet. My other one is almost out so I didn't want to take that just in case I run out of it. My under eyes can get quite dry and this just feels amazing under there. It makes a beautiful job of hydrating my under eyes. So I wanted to make sure I don't run out of it. So yeah, a full new bottle of eye cream. And this really always comes with me, no matter where I go, it's a must. For your lip balm, or even you can use this on your cuticles, I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I mean, this really is a cult product. I don't have too much left in here. But it's more than enough and it really needs to be used up so I thought this is the perfect opportunity. You can use this on your cuticles, even on your elbows, but it's quite greasy. But if you have really, really dry skin somewhere, this will take care of it. But I just usually use it as a lip balm or a cuticle balm and yeah, it will be perfect for my trip. Another thing I have in here is a toothbrush. It's just a really simple travel toothbrush I picked up from Boots. And you can fold it so it doesn't get dirty, which is perfect. As when I go home, my parents divorced, so I spent some time at my mom's and at some place at my dad's. And this way, my toothbrush doesn't get dirty. Now, in previous years, I used to take my little um, electronic toothbrush, is that what you call them? Yes, with me. And I used to have like a stereo pad? Stereo pad? Stereo... Steropod? Steropod, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. This little cap that you can clip on and it keeps your toothbrushes hygienic. I used to do that before, but I thought this year I will give this a try and if I hate it, I can go back to that method. But this just doesn't take up that much space. And also for a shorter travel, I find that works well. 
but usually if I'm away for two weeks then it runs out of battery towards the end of it and I don't really want to carry my charger with me as well so let's see how this works out the next thing I have in here is for my hair this is the Charles Worthington sunshine protector this is just a leave-in spray to protect your hair from UV damage and does it work I don't know I think it does but I mean I used it last year when we went to Malta and it was really really hot there I sprayed it through my hair now it says you have to um, really spray it in your hair, hair when it's wet um, well I don't always did that sometimes I spray it in dry hair does it may mean it's not effective I don't know but when we were in Malta I didn't feel like my hair got really really dry even though we were in the sunshine all the time and you know swimming in the sea so I think it did help because my hair felt a bit softer than usual so I think it did the job and I'm gonna take it with me to Hungary as well another thing or well, actually three of them here is the yes to grapefruit brightening face mask for dull and uneven skin with vitamin c glow boosting unicorn peel of mask and um, that's what it says on the packaging and i have three of this because every time i go home me and my sister and my mum we usually have like a girly night when we put on face masks and that sort and because it's a unicorn one i thought my sister might love it she's a lot younger than me i'm 26 and she is turning 14 this fall so she's into anything unicorn themed at the moment and i thought this might be something fun for the three of us to do um i mean that's it really it's just a glow boosting serum and i got three of it so we can have some fun I don't have many things left in here. One of the last things is an Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. If you've seen my favourites video, you will know that I love this stuff. This is the one that I have opened before. Um, it's a small travel size of it. Mm, it smells great. Now, I got this free with my purchase, but on ASOS you can get the smaller size. I don't think you can get it in any of the counters. But on ASOS I think it retails for £9, so either if you travel or if you just want to try it, it's a great offer because the original I think it's £42, the full size, whereas this one is 9 Um I mean it doesn't have that much product in there, it has 20 grams, which is not bad and this will be more than enough for me for two weeks to take off my makeup and also it's really hydrating. If my skin really suffers I can even put this on as a hydrating mask. So really doubles as a face mask which is great now the only thing i'll have to do i'll have to pop in here a face cloth or two just so i can maybe two so i can rotate them to use it with this as that's what i do um but yeah i really really like this and this mini size is coming with me i mean how cute is it to start with i just there's something about miniatures isn't there they're just so cute now the two last things, they might be TMI to some people, but never mind. One is my mini Venus Razor Snap. No, my mini... <laughs> One of the last things is my Venus Snap Razor. There we go, it was hard to say. It's just a small razor. I mean, the razor head is the regular size, but the handle is smaller. It's perfect for traveling. It comes in a little sanitary case. So, you know, there's not much to say about this. We all know... You know, if you like to take your hair off, which some people do, others don't. If you don't, that's fine too. But if you want to stay smooth, this is perfect. And another thing is my travel... Is it... It's not a diva cup. It's the Intimina cup. <laughs> I picked this up in Sainsbury's. I had the moon cup before. It's just a menstrual cup. It's uh, coming in a little travel case and you can just fold it. So it fits in here and I've been on my period but just in case it comes back I have my little menstrual cup so is it TMI I don't know but I mean come on we all have a period as long as you're a woman you will have your period and you know you just need to take care of it and I find that for me menstrual cups work perfectly so here we go <laughs> and that's everything that's all I had in my travel 
little bag. Um, now, because I'm going home to see my family, usually I don't take things like toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner or body wash. I just use what my family has at home. Or if I find that my hair really needs something that they don't have because I think we have slightly different hair. I usually just pick up a shampoo at home and just either leave it there or if it's something revolutionary that I really like, I just bring it back with me. But usually those are the few things that if we go and visit my family, I don't take with me as I feel like it's not necessary. But if I would go away somewhere else, I would pop it in here. Also, slightly different setup happens when I go away in the winter. We are going away on holiday in October, so I might film another video then because it will be a slightly different holiday as well. So it might be interesting, but usually this is my general summer setup if we go and see my family. And yeah, that's it. Let me know below what are some of your absolute skincare essentials when you go on traveling or other, you know, little bits like my tablets or anything like that. Let me know what is one thing that you usually don't travel without. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. There's a lot of beauty content and that's it for today. I'm gonna hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye, have a lovely day.